a little closer. Chicken on the side that I'm going to chop up and throw in it. I'm pretty proud of myself. It kind of looks like one of those. So I'm gonna go and get ready for uh, take two. So I'm gonna go and get ready and go swimming, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. What's up? There's no one here. So happy. Perfection. Yay. Ah, hell, I spoke too soon. Bloody mother trucker. Anyway. What if she panic was for absolutely no reason? Because <laughs> of the guy who I thought was coming in. He's actually one of the barbecue pits. So, yay. So let's just take a moment for this. <sighs> Clearly getting ready to go in. Set you up. Stay. I didn't last long. Like my new phone case, I got Monday Night Raw, and we ain't done yet. 
Hey guys, what's up? It's currently 10.26 p.m. I'm about to uh, take my needle. I don't know what I'm asking. It looks like trash, but that's cool. That's better. My um, art stuff turned out. So I have. I'm going swimming. I just got a. Bed. That. And I'm taking this with me. So I don't really have. Because I don't know. I don't think Fallon is helping the team. I think she may hurt the team. What's up? Oh my. I don't know if it looks like it's going to be my face, but anyway. Um, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to go swimming and. Um. Yeah. Hi, I just got back from shopping. I'm currently watching Alicia Marie. Because she uploaded! Yes, my queen has uploaded. That makes me so happy. It's currently 3 or 5 pm. I just got back from shopping with my mom. I got some, my mom got me some dresses. Like summer dresses, which makes me really happy because I love dresses. They're easy to put on. And. I got a black skirt, which I haven't had a skirt in years. And then I got some canvases and stuff, and more stuff too, so yeah. She a bit. They're sane. They're sane back there. This is what's happening! <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> I'd just rather watch Zane. Charity went well beyond money. My parents also gave 10% of their time to others. I think we could take that even further. And I'd encourage you to donate 10% of your talent to society. Wow, the world would be so much better off for it, and frankly, so would you. You'd be exposed to people and experiences that you might not otherwise have the opportunity to experience. The most valuable asset that you have in life is your talent and your time, which makes it all the more meaningful when you give these away to others. Speaking of time, number four, spend time with those you love. For many of us, there comes a point in life where we start to ask things like, why am I at this conference, or why am I working late tonight? And the finite nature of the time that each of us has left should prompt us to spend it more wisely. Now, I would encourage you to learn this lesson as early in life as possible. You'll never regret a night spent with family, 
or friends, those people that you truly love and love. Number five, give just a little bit more. The people that I've seen succeed are the ones who give that little bit extra. Not only in their careers, but in their personal lives and in their relationships. It doesn't mean taking work home with you every night. It doesn't mean saying yes to every request. It doesn't mean always being on the clock. It does mean going that extra mile every now and again, putting in that little bit of extra effort that will not only make people notice you, but they will better appreciate your talents or your friendship, and it will enhance those relationships and the work that you spend your days doing. Number six, say thank you, and say it often. We live in a very fast-paced world defined by instant and often very brief bursts of communication, which makes it all the more powerful and the more memorable when you step up to someone, look them in the eyes, and say, thank you. You may even want to start today by thanking your family or friends for their support in your pursuit of higher education or by thanking the one person who made the biggest difference to you during your time here at Mount Hawk. Now, success is seldom, if ever, a solo effort. So tell them what they did and why it mattered so much to you. You know, it's been said, and I believe it to be true, that people will often forget what you said, but they won't forget how you made them feel. Which brings us to number seven, and I saved this one for the last because of today. And that is, don't be afraid to change, and don't be afraid to fail. And right now, every decision you make seems critical. But there's something that you will not fully appreciate until much later in life. Graduates, you are young. You have time to invent yourself, to fail, and to reinvent yourself. You have time to make an effort. You have time to make mistakes. I know there are a lot of pressures in this world, and I know you feel them, and I know that sometimes they can seem absolutely overwhelming. But I also know this. When you turn 30, or 40, or 50, or even 60 like the man standing here before you today, you don't want to be asking, what if? You want to be asking, What's next? Some of you will be familiar with the work of Ralph Waldo Emerson. He was one of America's great writers and thinkers, and he often remarked on the pressure that society puts on individuals to conform and to stick to a single path. There's a line in one of Emerson's journals, and it goes like this. He said, all of life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. What if you fail and get fairly rolled up in the dirt once or twice? Up again, you shall never again be afraid of a tumble. And people are fond of saying, you only live once. And sometimes the way they say it, it sounds a bit like a threat. You only live once, don't screw up, don't make any mistakes. But here's the reality in that. Within that one life, you can reinvent yourself over and over again. Sometimes, the path to figuring out what you really want will take a couple of very strange turns. No schedule for finding your way, no master timetable that works for everyone. There's only the opportunity to try and to grow and to learn and to sometimes fail and to try again. But just from where I stand today, I have over the years looked out on a lot of young faces. I hope for them my hope for you is a life of fulfillment. You have an education that equips you to thrive in the world. You have the support of family and friends that love you. So, this is a life that you own. It's a future that's going to be shaped by your choices, by your talent, by your character. You get rolled in the dirt once or twice, get up again, brush yourself off, and never again be afraid to tumble. And here's one last bonus piece of advice. Every now and again, 
great deal less. For instance, I told you I was going to talk for seven minutes, I talked for 10, and I totally got away with it. To the graduating class of 2018, congratulations and Godspeed. Four indicators. Ba da ba da ba. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba. Da ba da ba do ba ba. Woo! I forgot this was our song on our grass. Close. Victoria Honors. Despacito. Sorry. Despacito.